Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Ben Neighbors, and I'm the founder here at buildmysportsbiz.com. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing the three pitfalls of unsuccessful personal trainers. And these are three things, personally, I've already experienced. In the past, when I started my business, I was very unsuccessful at the beginning. But over the last couple of years, specifically the last four and a half years, I've been able to coach hundreds of coaches with their business. And any time I've seen any coach fail, it's because they have one of these three qualities or they have all of them. Make sure when I go through this, I want you to be writing notes down. Uh, Feel free to comment below this video if you have any questions. And I wanna make sure that you get a lot out of this video. So you might have to watch this a few times And I will tell you, if you have the first quality uh, that I'm about to talk about, you're probably not gonna finish this video all the way through. And I wanna make sure that you do, from start to finish, you take notes, you follow through with this video, uh, because I know this will really help you, all right? Now, the first quality is a spontaneous business owner, okay? If you are a spontaneous person, that means that you just wake up one day and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go do this, or oh, I'm gonna go do that. And I've seen this happen a lot. Coaches will message me on Instagram and be like, hey Ben, I saw one of your videos and I really wanna be a private trainer now. And I'm like, okay, great. Well, what sort of experience do you have? You know, why do you wanna do it? And then I don't get clear answers back. And these are coaches who just wake up one day and they have an idea and they're like, I wanna go do this. They don't have a real reason why. And then two months later, they see someone else's video. They're like, oh, I wanna go do that now. I wanna be a marketer now. Or I wanna go do social media now. And they jump from, from hoop to hoop. But what they never do is they never complete anything. And spontaneous business owners do this. And that is a terrible habit to have. You cannot be successful in this business or any business if you're just jumping from idea to idea. Okay, this comes down to discipline. And when I say discipline, it means if you have an idea, you stick with it. You don't just bounce around from thing to thing. And here's a good example. This happens even with coaches that are in this business. They'll do private training and they become really good at it. And then before they can automate the process, they will jump into something else. And then the private training will crumble and then When they try to do that other thing, then they try to do camps and clinics or small group training or online training or online mentorship. And they try to have 5,000 different things going on. And trust me, I've been guilty of that before. And I can tell you, you cannot put your focus on six different things at once. You can do one thing at a time and do that well, okay? So to recap, don't be spontaneous. If you are, you need to change that. You need to be disciplined. Okay. Now the second thing, this is the second quality that I see a lot of coaches have is they'll always tell me, well, Ben, I'm waiting until January 1st to start my business. I'm going to wait until uh, I get this other safe and secure job. I'm going to wait until the perfect timing. And there's no perfect timing in this game. When I started my business, it was during one of the worst (laughs) economic crashes in the U.S., I didn't wait until things got better. I just did it because I knew there was no perfect timing. I knew if I waited, I would have stayed in my crappy job that I used to have. If you wait, someone else is going to take advantage of that. I'll give you a great example. Because I didn't wait during that time, I was one of the first coaches in my city to really establish a private training business. I will tell you, it would have been a lot harder for me if I would have started two years later because there would have already been a few other people in my my town who'd started by then. It would have been harder for me to gain traction. And the longer you wait, the more coaches are going to take advantage of this opportunity to start their own private training business, group training business, or camp or clinic business. And waiting is going to kill you, right? That's, that's, That's the inevitable. Waiting is going to kill your business because there's not gonna be perfect timing. There's, there's never a perfect time to do anything, okay? Now the last quality is one that I know personally, this is something that had haunted me in the past, 
but it doesn't anymore, which is you don't learn from your mistakes. You continue doing the same thing over and over and over again. And even when you make a mistake, you just go back and you keep doing that. Okay. For example, I see a lot of coaches on Instagram. They will take, uh, they'll go to canva.com and they'll make these flyers and they'll post those flyers to Instagram or to social media. And they expect that parents are just going to look at that and automatically sign up for it. Right. That's a mistake that I see a lot of coaches make. For some coaches, if that works, that's great. For most coaches that, you know, that strategy doesn't work out. How are you pivoting from that? Are you just gonna do that and then when it continues to stop working, you're just gonna quit? That's what I see a lot of coaches do. And they don't think outside the box with marketing. And that's really the whole point of our mastermind. It's to show you the proven systems that do work so you do get clients and you stop doing the same mistakes over and over and over and over again. Because the more mistakes you make, the more money you're gonna lose. And that's just flat out. You make one mistake, you should learn from it and pivot and be like, okay, well, I'm not gonna do it that way anymore. I'm going to do it a new way, do it a better way. And then from there, you course correct and you go again. And making mistakes is normal. You should be making mistakes. There, there's no perfect business owner. I make mistakes all the time, but I learn from them and I course correct and I adjust. Okay. So to recap the three qualities that unsuccessful coaches have, right? Number one, they're spontaneous. So don't be a spontaneous person. Be focused. All right. Number two, coaches are waiting for the perfect timing. There's never going to be a perfect time to do anything. All right. You need to take action and take it now. Okay. And the last one is coaches are not learning from their mistakes. Okay. So hopefully by now you've taken notes on everything that we've uh, covered in this video. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you want to join coaches from all around the world, all right, we have coaches from five different countries right now in our consulting program. And you want to have that daily support, not only from me, but from other coaches that are in the trenches, just like you, and you want to grow your business, you want to double or triple your business in the next 12 months. If that's you, I want you to do something very simple right now. All right, right now you're going to see my phone number right here. All I want you to do is click the pause, uh, pause button on the video and shoot me a text. All right. You're going to see my number right there. Text me this way. You and I, all right, we can schedule a quick phone call. I can show you how I can help you. I'm going to ask you a few questions to see if you're the right fit for our program, but I can promise you if you shoot me a text, all right, that's going to be a great starting point to the process of growing your business and growing it the right way. I'm not talking about some, some 30 day overnight success thing. I'm talking about a real sustainable business that you can have forever. All right, that's it. Shoot me a text. I'll see you next time.